नमस्कार दिस इज डॉक्टर भरत चंद्र लार्ज नंबर ऑफ पीपल वर आस्किंग सर कैन यू डू फंडामेंटल एनालिसिस ऑफ हाउसिंग डेवलपमेंट फाइनेंस कॉर्पोरेशन इन शॉर्ट कॉल्ड एस डी एफ सी सो टूडे आई एम डूइंग इट प्लीज वॉच द वीडियो कंप्लीटली समबडी हु इज गोन वॉच इट कंप्लीटली वील गेट अ स्मॉल गिफ्ट फ्रॉम आवर साइड द डिटेल्स आर एट द एंड फ्रेंड्स एच डी एफ सी स्टार्टेड इन नाइनटीन सेवेंटी सेवन इन मुंबई बाय ए पर्सन कॉल्ड हसमुख फारेख एंड देन इट इज स्पेशलाइजिंग इन गिविंग होम लोन्स फॉर परचेजिंग एंड कंस्ट्रक्शन एंड ऑल्सो फॉर मॉर्टगेज लोन्स ऑन द एग्जिस्टिंग हाउसेस यू नो एच डी एफ सी कंपनी इज अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट कंपनी दे आर ऑल्सो हैविंग मेनी अदर कंपनीज हेल्ड बाय देम द फर्स्ट वन इज एच डी एफ सी बैंक ट्वेंटी वन परसेंट ऑफ द एच डी एफ सी बैंक एच डी एफ सी जोनिंग एच डी एफ सी लाइफ इंश्योरेंस फोर्टी नाइन परसेंट एच डी एफ सी आसेट मैनेजमेंट कंपनी फिफ्टी टू परसेंट एच डी एफ सी जनरल इंश्योरेंस फिफ्टी परसेंट इज ओन्ड बाय एच डी एफ सी नाउ माई डियर फ्रेंड्स who are holding these shares hdfc shares promoters have sold all their shares already because it's a very old company foreign institutional buyers are having approximately 70% of the stake domestic institutional investors have around 21% and others retail investors me and you who are holding approximately 8% of hdfc company now the net profit of hdfc for the last 5 years in crores 2016 7974 crores 2017 8629 2018 7175 2019 10191 crores And 2020 bumper profits 17,080 crores means every year it is going up means sign of a good progressive company. Recently, HDFC was in news because Central Bank of China had purchased about one percent of the stake. But when we look at the uh, statistics now, I think. they are less than 0.5 and they must have sold the shares for profit already face value of hdfc is rupees 2 book value is 536 rupees the industry pe that means all these housing development finance companies industry pe is 15.19 pe ratio of hdfc is 19.1 one now i'm giving you the comparison of hdfc with other peer companies and hdfc has a market capitalization of 3 lakh 36460 crores lic housing finance 15906 crores and avas financier is 12000 93 crores can you see hdfc in this segment is a absolute market leader suppose you had purchased 100 shares of hdfc during the ipo we were not able to get the details of the ipo which year it came how much it was sold because it's very old data suppose somebody had purchased 100 shares the first bonus came in 2002 1 is to 1 100 shares became 200 shares and in the year 2010 sgfc split the 10 rupee shares into 2 rupees and those who had 200 shares became 1000 shares so 100 shares have now become 1000 shares 
Now let me give you the statistics. Somebody was invested in HDFC, an investor. How much profits he has made over the years? January 2000, if somebody had invested 10,000 rupees into HDFC buying, that means at that time the HDFC was 29 rupees 35 paisa. August 2020, as I'm making this video, if you sell those 10,000 rupees worth of shares, today it is coming to 6,39,523 rupees because currently HDFC shares are quoting 1,877 rupees and over the last 20 and a half years, if you take the CAGR, means every year how much percentage average it has given it has given 22.29 but if you take the last five years CAGR it comes to only 9.32 percent the 52 weeks highest of SGFC is 2499 52 weeks lowest is 1473 if HDFC stocks were not given any bonus, there was no split at all, then the 2 rupees share would have fetched you in the market 19,000 rupees as against 1,877. I am now giving you a table that will show you how much dividends they have declared for the last 10 years starting from 450% to 1,050% in the last 10 years. My dear friends, let me give you in a nutshell the business model of HDFC. What is their business? Giving home loan. Let us imagine you approach for a home loan. The cost of the house is 50 lakhs. The cost of the flat is 50 lakhs and do you do they give uh, 50 lakhs worth of loan no only 40 lakhs that means by giving 40 lakhs HDFC is taking over your house of 50 lakhs no loss after that they take one guarantor for your loan and the third thing is expecting that nothing should happen to you so they take 40 lakhs worth of life insurance on you so that if some problem is there, you will realize the money from a life insurance. After that, insure the house against earthquake and fire, etc. for rupees 50 lakhs. That means even if something goes wrong, even if you don't pay the money, even if you don't pay the EMI, still HDFC will not lose any money. Wonderful business model wonderful company so many years progressively in profits my dear friends think and decide one more thing just because i am saying hdfc is a good company don't buy do your own fundamental analysis go to moneycontrol.com go to nsc bsc website do your own research whether the figures are given is wrong or right only when they are right then you should start thinking shall i start investing or not my dear friends this is the time to tell you about the small gift you are going to get having seen the whole of the video my dear friends before that this is the graph of hdfc for the last 21 years or so see how it is going up how it has come down and decide whether it is worth buying my dear friends if you have seen this video completely you are the member of dr bharat chandra youtube channel you have already pressed the like button you have commented uh, your comments in the comments box and then you have shared this 
important video to at least 10 of your friends. Very important, you share it because such a wonderful company, everybody can think of investing a small portion of their savings. And then if you have shared it to 10 more people and then send us an email saying that all the jobs I have done, once you send the email to us requesting for ebook, we will send that ebook five secret features of WhatsApp you may or may not know. Book number six. Send it to us by email. If you follow all this uh, procedure as it is in the slide, you will get the ebook within the next one week. Thank you for watching the whole video. Let me wish you all the best. Bye-bye.